Today, Google gets extreme. Chrome comes to the iPhone and iPad in a way to run Android apps on a Mac. See, everybody wins. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews from Revision 3. First up, huge news out of Google I.O. this week in San Francisco, at least for fans of extreme sports. A few months back, Google released a concept video of their Google Glasses project called Project Glass. The demo video showed us a day in the life of a Google future where augmented reality helps us navigate and communicate and serenade our dates on rooftops. So at I.O. this week, Google unveiled the prototype for the technology in a super extreme Google Hangout that featured skydiving and bike tricks live streamed from the glasses to an ecstatic audience. But no augmented reality. However, Google did announce that pre-orders are available for a so-called Explorer edition of the glasses, available to developers only, sorry, costing about 1500 bucks and shipping early next year. They revealed few details about the hardware, saying only that the glasses would have a pretty powerful processor, a lot of memory, a touchpad on the side, mics, speakers, radios, and various sensors, gyroscopes, accelerometers, and a compass. And Google didn't stop there, of course. On day two of the conference, many of us everyday users had reason to celebrate when they announced Chrome for iOS, a victory for Safari haters everywhere, like many of us here, who have long suffered with few truly good alternatives for browsing on the iPhone or iPad. By the time this episode releases, the Chrome app should have hit the store and hopefully made browsing on the iPhone and iPad a little less crappy. So as far as the augmented reality goes, virtual reality may not be here just yet, but for some reason this whole thing made me think of Lawnmower Man. Do you guys remember that movie? It really gave me the urge to watch it. Fortunately, that and all the random 90s sci-fi movies are at our fingertips with Netflix. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii. With Netflix, you can watch as many movies as you want, any time you want, and for a limited time, you can get a 30-day free trial membership. To get that 30-day free trial, go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up today. Next up, a service for anyone coveting and Android apps, but with the wrong operating system to run them on. It's called Bluestacks, a software that lets you access and install the apps in the Google Play Store on OS X. Bluestacks was announced just outside of Google I.O. this week, and we're also hearing that they built an actual wedding tent to make the announcement from Nice. Right now, Bluestacks is also free of charge if you sign up as a tester over on their website. And finally, since I did ask last week about your experiences with the developer version of iOS 6, Gene updates us with the following. Using iOS 6 beta, it's buggy, but that's to be expected. Biggest disappointment, my Starbucks app broke. Which fortunately turned out to be mere coincidence after the LinkedIn password debacle. Some things were changed there, but still, Gene, I don't blame you for freaking out. So that's it for today. Many, many announcements to process. And as always, please leave us your impression in the comments below. Find the show on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, on our homepage at revision3.com. And as always, you can find me on Twitter at Annie Gauss. See you next week.